So how did this lipstick uh, business all come about? So I started the lip bar making lipstick in my kitchen because I wanted to challenge the beauty standards. So that's been um, our motto from day one and it's really why I get up and work hard every day. I always tell people I'm not passionate about makeup, but I am passionate about empowering women. So I noticed a huge gap in the beauty industry. Um, it was like a very linear beauty standard and also a lot of the cosmetics were filled with unnecessary chemicals. So I wanted to make a cosmetic product that would be not only responsibly made, but affordable, but also showcase a diverse I landscape of beauty. Um, I did a ton of research, uh, reading the backs of ingredients on like products I was currently using and then dissecting like, well, what does this ingredient do? How does it add value to the, the final product? And then also, if it was a chemical, is there a plant-based substitute? So it was a ton of experimenting, really. I didn't come, I didn't have like a chemistry background. I had a finance background. And so you, you grew up here in Detroit. Yeah, I grew up in Detroit. I and went to school in Florida. School? I went to Cass, Cass, Cass Tech. Okay. And when I left Cass Tech, I went to Florida and m University. I studied business finance. Okay. And immediately after, I went to work on Wall Street. So okay. I worked for Barclays. And how did you like working at Wall Street? Uh, it was fine, um, but I graduated in 2008 at the height of the crash, and I went to work for Barclays, who had just bought Lehman Brothers. So the morale was just down, and I worked on Wall Street for a full four years, but at year two, I started the lip bar. So you came back here? I came back here almost three years ago now. Okay. Yeah. And so did you come back here with the intent of starting the lipstick uh, business? No, the company was already built. It was built? I started it in New York. I lived in New York. After I um, started, I lived in New York an additional three years. And were you making stuff in, in your kitchen? In, in my kitchen. And, and when I first moved back home, I was still making it in my kitchen. In your kitchen. And then I started to house. the city at the time? Or? When I first moved home, I moved with my mom, and she okay. lived in East Point. Okay. And I stayed with her. You know, like you move back home, and you're trying to figure out the lay of the land. So right. I moved in with her, okay. and then six months later, I bought a condo in Jefferson. So okay. I am, I'm in the city, basically right down the road. Okay. And so you got a loan here? Yeah. To start to help, to help boost your business? Um, I got a loan to help pay for the inventory for my target purchase order. So the business was already a full-fledged business. Okay. Like we had already so gotten got a, a lot of... Target. Yeah. So what, kind of tar what kind of order was it? What do you mean? Wait, how, how big of an order? I can't disclose how big of the order it was, okay. but it was, a, it was a good order. We launched into 42 stores okay. and we did really well. Okay. Yeah. And so where are you manufacturing right now? Right now we're manufacturing in California. In California. Yep. So and but have, my goal is you have to, a company in California that's making your product. I have a lab and I do contract manufacturing. So essentially like we create formulas and then they produce and fill and then ship to either me or whoever I, I need them to ship to. So, so in this you case operate sometimes. Here or the business side yeah, everything. Right. We ship everything. All of our fulfillment is done here. We have a store here. Okay. Uh, we have about Where's six employees store? here in the West Village. So okay. right on Agnes Street. Okay. And so how we're long on this, has that been up for? We opened the store in July. How's it going? It's going awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It was actually supposed to be a pop-up shop. We were only supposed to be there for one month. Uh -huh. And we did so well, we ended up extend, ex extending and extending. And now it's like we've been there for eight months. Okay. So what's the future of the company? Uh, we're going to continue to grow. We're going to expand into Target stores, hopefully. Uh, expand into Ulta stores. And really just be that company of guilt-free good looks. And how did you feel about getting a shout-out here tonight? It was awesome. It was awesome to know that he was like enamored with my story to share it because it's been a long journey. I've, I've had the company for six years. Right. Um, so, you know, I've, I've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations and, and learning. And, and you were on Shark Tank? Yeah, I was on Shark Tank. And how was that? Um, they were really cruel to us, but it was great because we got tons of exposure wow. and it only reaffirmed why we needed the brand and why there was a and whole nobody, gap missing. Nobody uh, bit in no. Shark Tank? No, and it was, was fine. It was great. Or was that okay? No, you you don't necessarily need an investment to go on Shark Tank. You get all the ratings. Okay. Yeah. And did that help? Did yeah, that of course, of course. Okay. Yeah. Cool.